that one. Fedius, go. So oh, much yes. buffs to so, him. Oh, Aurelia and the Gnar, too. Oh, we got the Aurelia. Oh, this is so good. Yes. So many fun matchups. Unicorns of Love bringing out the special picks. We can talk. We have to kill and the chase still in for Zerse. Not going to go for the full kill. No ult to use. And this is the power of the counter gank from Zerse. He was in the bottom side of the map. Right all in happens top. He's got a lot of damage here on a Hans. He's trying to hold oh. the character, but not going to get it. First blood solo kill on the top lane. The counter pick pays off. See, as soon as he sees. You can kind of infer that you've walked over a ward. Mm -hmm. He may not say, oh, it has to be that pixel brush. There has to be a control ward in there. That is one of the most common, though. Uh, so might go back and check that on the way out. Meanwhile, he'll say, it looks like a lot of damage, damage available. The perfect timing as well. And he just kept waiting to jump over and never did it. And now it's going to be a possible stun. What a ulti a efficient setup. And uh, might go more offensive. Oh, Double and Bio are going to see him a little bit Here late. Comes the pony. The flash, the charm, everything's there. Not all the force to run away, but he's not long for the world. And Xerxes picks that one up. A knockup for Balfrost. Not going to be much either. As the chase continues, looking for the next chance. He's the ready to get that Trini Four Spike. Aurelia's already completed hers as well. You are well reaching the point in the game where they're poised and ready. As Bjergsen goes from all in. No mana for any sort of movement here from Exile. Exhaust really, really late, but Hexrigger still popped and it forces the flash. So double summoners out. Like Bjergsen is ghosted. He's going to flash for the QE. One more couple of shots will do it. The W's going to land. <laughs> One more Q. There it is. And Bjergsen knew there was no way back out for Exile. That goes here. All right, they're collapsing here with the extra Trini forces of Hecarim and Aurelia from the bottom side. TSM have to be a bit wary. They don't have double if with them. They're gonna find the charm of the knock of the quickness. Gonna find a third as well. They're gonna look for the dive, and they might just have it as a chapty. But the ulti gets one final shot down, and a Bjergsen takes him out in the mid lane. Sven gonna fall as well. Now Hanser is Meganar finds one, gets Exile. They're gonna get a second as well. The turnaround from the tanks. It's two dead on both sides. And double if is coming down. He the to not give enough room to this Aurelia, and even after he's been solo killed once due to the burst, after the Trini force is completed, TSM goes. Offensive in the mid lane, though, they have to worry about being collapsed upon. Well, TP still is available to Chachi, though. Ulti down might not really matter, but so far it's not going to be a play as Samix himself is far away. The big knockback oh. is there, and they found Zersai. The flash into the turret. It's going to be double looking for one more, just barely. Gets the duel, wins it out in the end. Mid lane going to fall as well, and TSM in a 4v5 get the dive. Another great and whittle down and get a bit more pressure when you're grouping up in the 5v5. You can. Uh oh, here we go for the engage. The big knockup's going to be there. Svenskir dropped pretty low for himself. Gets a quick shield, tries to flash away, but here comes the charge back in for Zersai. Gets the fear, but he's got enough teammates that Ulti means absolutely nothing. Oh, a double stun on the Bjergsen. and Exile's gonna be a bit careful, has the Mega, and is just gonna pop a quick Valkyrie or package to get out of that one. He's gonna kite back a slow, and Hillisong could be a bit dangerous, trying to jump in, and he's stunned, so he can't join the recall just yet. Flashing, but maybe what for is the summon heal not gonna buy him out of time. Kill picked up, here comes Featherstorm, and not gonna pull them back on the Blade Caller just yet. Now the tackle back into the turret, Blade Caller not gonna land. Still cutting back, Kill kind of comes to go to visit Chachi. Regen the fight, his fourth kill. Gets the jump, gets away from the stun. And look, Unicorns of Love, they're grouping up as a five. That the Aurelia's here with the team. Very classic Unicorns of Love style, but they're the ones being pushed back. Yeah. Aurelia. Gonna be knocked back, though. They're gonna find Rakan. He's got no way out. Hill's not gonna get shut down by Doublelift, his third kill. I mean, you have an Aurelia that has that guaranteed advantage. Right now, though, TSM, group up S5, use the composition to just straight brute force down mid lane. The trebuchet is gonna knock down more of the castle walls as mid lane 2-2 two, two gonna fall. They found the stun. They found the Meganar. They're gonna find two more kills. Why even bother defending Unicorns of Love? Terrible at ARM in this game. I mean, you're looking at the... They're effortlessly used at these turrets over and over again to grab kills. Now it's onto the Baron, though, and there is a chance for Xerxes to try and get in there. But with the battering ram broken, he can't break down any of the walls. There's no way to jump over the freight train without an ultimate All right, right now. No more battering ram. <laughs> okay, we're done with the ram. They found the stun, though, and Chachi has been taken down from long range, and a thousand health left on the Baron. Sven does have smite. There's no way about it. He's going to grab that one cleanly. TSM in complete control this game. Yeah. One more. Two drakes picked up, a third one spawning in 15 seconds. That will be lower down to the priority list right now as the mid lane is under fire and Hanser trying to run away, but he's not going to be able to easily. Flashes to get away from Onslaught of Shadows. And we're going to hook shield for Balfrost to stay safe. Now the re-engage. They found one. They found a slow. Vincent Chachi running out of health, and Balfrost with the steel chair takes him out. Two for zero so far. The escape again for Exile. The package going to buy only a few seconds of time as mid lane inhibitor turret going to fall. 5v3 for TSM still with the Baron buff. And TSM, they're just so effectively snowballing this lead. They have all five members alive. There's no support, no top laner for you all. And TSM, they are not stopping. I'm looking to take down the turrets right now. The stone crumbling in front of them, turning UOL into firewood. As they're going to knock down one more Nexus turret. As soon as they put the attacks in, they force Exile 
back onto the fountain after Valkyrie and Battlefrost not even taking any damage anymore. Ons are cutting back and forth. One skill Samix can't quite get it. But looking for the side here on this one is Hecarim kiting back and forth. Looking for the play. No choice left alive. Can the defenders and teammates are respawning. Zerse gonna take some damage. Look for the knockout. They're trying to take down Hodge, but they can't quite do it. Now 4v5 as Zizachachi respawns into this one. Looking for the play of Rampage for double if three kills already coming into this one. Can Chachi get anything done? It looks like he cannot. The team staying alive. All five of TSM are there, and there's no opposition left. A quadra kill for Bjergsen. Megan is triumphant return to Europe as TSM gonna make it happen. 18 to 6, waiting in the fountain, letting minions do the dirty work. And that's GG. TSM 2-0. North America up 4-2. TSM themselves undefeated here at Rift Rivals after day number one. Really strong mid-game showing there, and Unicorns of Lud could not take advantage of the Aurelia, could not take advantage of their split push to set up anything in the mid-game. They just got run over. And I was really impressed with the way in which TSM were able to play that mid-game. The fact that they just grouped up as a five, they recognized what they needed to do, try and avoid Chachi on the side lane and just drag him to the rest of the team.